we're on the prowl. Hey y'all, and welcome to On the Prowl. Uh, I'm Shannon Marquis, Associate Sports Editor. I'm here with Kevin Ward here, Sports Editor, and Eric Levinson, Associate Sports Editor for Python. And so the baseball team finished uh, weekend. They went three and one in the Lou Gehrig Division. Um, so any thoughts from the uh, Eric? Uh, I thought the pitching was really fantastic. It's uh, probably the strength of this team. Um, Zach Hermans Jr. pitched eight to third innings, gave up one run, and uh, Mike Ford uh, pitched another beauty, and he won his game also. So the Garrick division really dominated. That's Princeton. That's the four-team division that Princeton's in. Um, they went 23-9 against the Rolf division. Um, so really a good performance by Princeton and their other teammates and uh, other rivals. Another one of those pitchers is Matt Bowman Jr. He's had some injury problems, some rough outings in his first couple of years. But he's thought of as probably the best prospect in the Ivy League. He's been showing it this year in Ivy League play. Two starts so far, 14 innings. He's gotten two wins, allowed one run, and struck out 21 batters. He's been doing some great stuff. He keeps doing that. Uh, Princeton's Gary Division opponent. So it's been a solid weekend for uh, baseball, Princeton baseball, baseball in the Lou Gehrig Division. Uh, Divisional play starts next weekend? Yes, next weekend. There's only three weekends of divisional play, four games each. And as you mentioned, all of the Gary Division teams did really well in interdivisional play, so mm-hmm. it'll be a bummer. And Princeton opens up against Penn next weekend. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, also, men's lacrosse team uh, lost a tight 10 9 matchup against Syracuse up in the Carrier Dome. Um, thoughts from that match? Yeah, that's Princeton's third loss of the season. The first two are against top ten teams in North Carolina and Hopkins. Syracuse has fallen a little bit from last year when they were the number one team in the nation. Uh, Princeton, uh, Tyler Fury made 16 saves, played really well in that, as always. But the Tigers turned it over a couple too many times, gave up a lot more shots than they took, and just didn't quite have enough offense to end the game. So looking forward from this, it's not an Ivy League game, but it's still an important game for the Tigers. Uh, what's, what's the Tigers' future? Right, so it's, they're still 3-0 in the Ivy League. Um, Har- 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 Cornell just beat Harvard, and they were the other two undefeated teams before this weekend. So um, it's shaping up to be Princeton as a game against Rutgers, a non-conference game, and then big showdowns against Harvard and Cornell in the coming six, two and three weeks. They play Dartmouth in the middle. Uh, Dartmouth, they should be able to, to beat if we if all goes according to plan, but... Uh, so it shapes up to be a late April uh, blooming game. Well, that's it. Um, say classy on. You've been on the prowl. Mm-hmm.